Hi everyone and thanks for joining me for this tutorial. Now um, for those of you that have been following um, my videos I have been trying to make some um, ephemera and bits and pieces from my Edith Holden book and Charlie's timing is impeccable isn't it Charles? Just as I'm about to start working he <laughs> just like flies out of nowhere so um i said to you that i would show you um some of the projects and how i make them so let me just these are my scraps so these are what i've been working from as i don't want to waste any of it um but what we're going to make today are these um file folder little pockets um tuck spots and they have a little uh, card that goes in them um and then I have this big one which is just a flip so these are super easy and fast to make um, all you're going to need is your envelope punch board if you have one um, let me just give you the measurements what I've done is I've just cut down the pages um, now let's mind your bum let's make this big one first because they are super easy I'm going to zoom out because then you might be able to um, see better with Charlie in the way so I have cut down um, one of the pages to uh, seven and a half seven and a half by the long ways and five and a half the short ways and most of them do have a month on the top so I make sure I try and incorporate that into that and all you're doing is you're just turning this page into a flip like so um, so basically I just need to know what that is, by the way. Is that three? Right, I think it's three. I didn't make sure. So what you're going to do is you're going to line up your um, page. Let me just show you. Um, into, you'll see there's a line right in there. And just going to line that up right up to that line. So let me just push that along and just going to punch and then you're going to move it along to the three inch mark or the two inch or depending on how big you want the, the file folder piece. And what I do, you can bring in your um, scoreboard, not scoreboard, cutting board. I just eyeball it because I'm very, very lazy and I just cut that off. And then what you're going to do um you need to have that on this side so what you're going to do is you are going to so we've got that one done like that and what you're going to do is you're going to turn it round so that you've got this at the bottom and this corner here and you're going to do exactly oh, charles <laughs> right come on right you're going to do exactly the same you're going to line it up punch move it along to the three inch mark like so and then that is done now what you're going to do you're not going to oh you need to cut this first cut your bit off however you decide to cut it off and then you're going to fold it over now you don't want it exactly in half because then that lines up i like to do it just let me go in zoom in now I like to oh we've done it yeah go to about how did we do it on this one like that so it was just up to that line there and then you're just using your scoreboard or your fingers or whatever you have at hand just fold that in half like so and then I ink mine up and then they're all ready to decorate so we're going to decorate them up in a minute Oh, you know what I haven't done? I haven't done my corners. Now, I like to um, round my corners off. You don't have to, um, but just pop it into your board like so. And then I just round my corners off. Ow. Ow, pack it in. Oh, you're being very mean. No, no, I haven't done it right. Right, round the corners off if you don't have a naughty cat. And then you're ready to do your 
inking and then your decorating so that's your um just your large one there you go already and done and then you can choose whichever way you think is the most decorative you can either you can't have it that way now because i folded it but you can choose which way you want so that's your um just flip and you can tuck that in somewhere or you can glue it down onto the page and make it into a pocket or you can do it that way so that's the flip and that's ready to decorate and let me show you how you make um these little ones these are so super cute look at that that is just super cute um so your measurements that you need for your pieces now you don't have to just do it with an edith holden but you can do it with any book or card or you know whatever you want so these are three and three quarter um, no, they're not. I lie. They are not three and three quarter. They are four by six. So six this way, four this way. And then the piece in the middle, it's three and three quarters by three. Three and three quarters by three. So what you're going to do for your big piece, we're only doing a tab on one side. So you want it on the bottom bit so what you're going to do is you're going to turn that over to the wrong side put it into your um, punch and I only do it at one and three quarters on this one like that but you can do it at two it's up to you entirely how um, big you want your your tab piece to be and then what we're going to do is we're going to round off these corners here like that and then what we do is we just fold that up um i do it to about there but you can do it as far as you want it and that is your folder now if you've got a sewing machine you could sew down here or glue down there it's entirely up to you so i'm gonna glue for the purpose of this video um and we just need to do that corner as well i'm sorry it's because i've got a naughty cat here i'm not concentrating right that's that one done so that's done ready to decorate and then we're going to just make the card for the inside and all you're going to do is you're just going to bring that in punch it and do the same one and a half so whatever you decide to do for your tab you need to do it for both so there's no point doing one um two inches and one um hour right you can get down in a minute if you're going to be naughty right you're gonna oh, oh right you're being horrible come on off you get let me finish my work now grumpy I don't know why he's so grumpy. So we're just going to round off these corners. You don't have to round them if you don't want to. So there you go. There's your little card. And we don't need the punch board anymore. So it can go out the way. Let's get rid of all of these little bits. Because we're trying to be very, very tidy. That's done with. Um, these little wordy bits you can keep if you wanted to. Um, it is entirely up to you. I probably have enough, so I'm not going to keep them. Right, so we've now got the two um, cards like that. And we have the two large ones like that. Is that right? Yep, that's it. So what we're going to do, we've inked that one up. We need to ink this one up. See, they're very easy to make, especially when you don't have a naughty cat. Now, I'm just going to oh gosh, just cut that bit round a little bit because it's a little bit sharp. And we're just going to ink these up like so. There you go so they're all good to go and they're ready to be decorated so we've got the two large ones and we have the two little ones like that 
So let's get decorating. Right, I'm bringing my glue book in here. I'm just going to move these bits of paper. And what we're going to do is decorate these up. So let's start. Let's do a big one first, shall we? Um, so let's have a look on here and see what we have to play with. Let's just pull out some scraps, shall we? Right, I do love this ledger paper. I know I use it an awful lot, but I think that looks fantastic as it is. Um, I'm going to pull out a couple of my stamps as well because I do love my stamps. Let's do a blue one as well. And I'm going to ink this up. So that's going to go there. Now, um, do I want a stamp on here? Not sure. I'm not sure about the stamp just yet. Now, let's have a look and see what ephemera I have that I could use on here. Because I quite like this. I don't really want to do an awful lot on here. So what about I have some lovely washi tape here so let me see if i can find the end um let me glue this down first i think would be a good idea because otherwise i won't know what i'm doing i was going to do the rearrange it all and find out what i was going to do first but i'm going to go as it is i think this could do with a little bit of colour of some sort so I'm just trying to get the end of my washi tape <laughs> it's being a bit of a pain right so I've just got the word love on this washi tape and I just thought that that might be quite nice just to put across there like that. As we're trying to use our washi tape up, I think it is a good idea. Just seeing what I've got. Something here, I think. Flowers are not going to work because we already have the lovely flowers from... Um, Oh, I don't know now. What have I gone and done? <laughs> like, I want something on here. Okay, let's get some fabric. Let's get, pull some little bits out of fabric um, or lacy bits. Let's have a look what we've got. I'm just pulling out some little bits. Right, we've got lots of bits here now. Too big, too big. Oh, and I see that would work. That looks really lovely. So I'm going to just cut this like that. And I think that will look lovely, but I've covered that over. So maybe we can cut this down just a fraction. There you go. Could have that there, and then I might put some of my um trimmy bits on there so let's get me glue Ew, that's gone all gunky charles is there looking i know he's going to get ready to pounce in a minute right so i want to run this across here so i just gauge it and then what i'm going to do then is just then come in and do a bit where we need it like that and then you can always go and trim that up afterwards 
pretty look how lovely and delicious that looks just all by itself so you wouldn't necessarily have to have anything else on there and i'm just thinking i think that really looks quite sweet just by itself if i'm honest i don't think sometimes i think like i said you can put too much on um and i quite like that as it is i think so i'm going to leave that one to dry over here Oops. and then we've got these two now that needs to go like that what can we put on here right let's get our little scraps out see what i've got here in front of me all oh, got some like map pieces or this old paper here that could go there um, I think I'm gonna have a stamp on this one and then we'll have something to go on there I've just seen some old graph paper here and I'm just wondering if I mm, no I think it's too it's too small a piece to um tear up as well. Let's have a look if I've got any All you're going to see now is my arm where, <laughs> no, I can't, oh, what was that? That's my pen. Um, no, I don't think I have any more graph paper in here. Oh, hang on. Maybe I do. I do, I do. Right, let's tear this down a bit. Gonna collage this up a little bit, I think. Now I might even stamp on this one. Yes, I know. Chanel's got her stamps out again, or well, she's gonna in a minute, I think, because that's why I sorted that box out the other day so that I could actually use my stamps. Right. So I'm just going to put that across there like that. Oops, that hasn't stuck. Right, and what I want to do is I'm going to stamp something on there. So let me find a stamp. Let's have a look what we've got. About one of these little French words, mercy, mercy. Oh, I don't believe I just did that. It all ended up on the floor. Right, that wasn't clever. The lid wasn't on properly. I don't really want Bon Voyage, do we, I don't think. Bonjour, what about Bonjour? Let's do this one. Right, I have these here. So let me get my ink pad. Oh my gosh, everything is going everywhere. And that's without Charlie's help. Right, so we have Bonjour here. Oh, look, that's cute. And then I'm going to put that. Oh, look, I've marked that there. If I put my stamp there, that might work. There you go. Cover up my mistake. Okay. So, and then we're just going to glue this 
stamp down. I don't know what's wrong with me recently. I'm trying to be more tidy and I'm succeeding in being um, more productive. But I'm being so clumsy at the moment. Um, so that is that. And I think we will find a little bit of lace or trim or something. Um, to try and... Oh, there's any little bits of... Right, I have some little bits here or that bit there. Just put those back in my box. Making a mess. Right, I quite like this. That is quite cute actually. A bit much though isn't it I think what about right so I think it might have to be this dainty little I think so let's just do dainty on this one let's run some glue down here There you go. Oops, misjudged that one, didn't we? Right, there you go. Now I have glue all over my fingers. And then we're just going to snip that off. And where is the card that goes into that one? There. Now, I'm not even sure that I need anything on the card. Um, I think I might just leave the card as it is, I think, because I think it looks nice just like that. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it like that. So that's the second one done. Um Right, okay, so we've done two. I think the cards are not... Oh, actually, I'll tell you what I could do. Oh, I won't do because, look, there's a space there to actually write on anyway. Um, what I could do, actually, is just do... Uh, just thinking. To just put a little bit of... I just don't want to cover up that whole image. So let me just, I'm just wondering. There is a space there to actually write, or I could actually put that on there just to give it a little bit more sort of detail. Right, I'm going to just pop that there. And then there is a little area there that you can actually write on. So I'm just going to put that, pop that in there like so. Right. Oh, that's another one done. Now I'm not sure if my camera is going to last to do the rest of them. Um, so what I'll probably do is I'll probably go away and... In fact, let me do this one. I should have time to do this one big one. Um, let's have a look. I want something interesting on this. Oh, this is quite nice, isn't it? Oh, maybe we could do this bit here because then you could write on it then. This is just an old printable that I had um, of a like a receipt or something. So, what if that looks good to me? Put that in my bin.
because then you could actually write on this bit so it's got writing space on the front I'm going to put this down Oh, look at that. I like that a lot. That looks cool. I do like that. And then um, what we could do is find something interesting to No, I don't know why I cannot use that bit. I don't know why. It just doesn't want to know. And that's too, oh, I don't know, I quite like that. And you can't write, what am I doing? Should, should I know what you're doing? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, my goodness. See, I'm really not with it, am I? Oh, my gosh, look at this bit. Look at that. You could have a big dangly doodah. Nope, that's no good either. Why can I not find something that I like? I quite like that, so I'm going to cut off a bit that will go in like the corner and I'm going to stick that. That's too much. I just like a little bit. I think that little bit looks really sweet. Just put that like that on the corner, I think. Just going to stick this down. But, you know, the world's your oyster. You could put whatever you want on these, honestly. Um, just use your scraps up. Um, oh, no, look, that's, there you go. And then we're just going to put that down like so. And then I'll come in and trim that up in a minute once I've glued it all down. And then we'll just come in and trim this up. Oh, see, look how it's coming on. I really like that. Now, what shall we do? Should we find a little word or something to put on here as well? What's here? Oh, look at these lovely little tags that we've got. Now, I've got some little bits of ephemera here see that would look quite cute there i think oh that's nice as well that little frame piece or a lady let's have a look these are just all my little scrappy bits um that need to be used so let's have a look that one i like oh i quite like that one as well no not that one Right, let's have a look if we ink this up. Maybe we could put some cheesecloth behind her or something. Let's have a look. Oh, I've got just the thing. I know exactly what I'm going to put behind her. Oh. the lovely Joanne um, sent me some of this in happy mail and I asked her where she got it from and she got me two lovely balls of this amazing um, eyelash trim and it's this lovely coffee colour it is just gorgeous so I'm just going to grab some of this 
I love it. I love the colour of it. Look, I had it had a white one, um, but I really, really love this colour. Right, let's do our normal trick. Just I just want to see if that's maybe a bit too much. Oh look. Do we think it's too much? Maybe a little bit. Let's just cut a little bit off. And do it again. I think I went a bit too crazy with it. Um, that would work, I think. I think I've got a bit too much. I think that's the problem. We've gone eyelash crazy. There you go, that's what we need. So I'm going to put some glue down here. Like that. And then I'm going to put a load on this piece here as well, ready. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, if you drop it, it's supposed to end up butter side up not butter side down the same oh, stop it stop it <laughs> it's attacking me oh my goodness me i now have glue all over my table oh my goodness right let's do this quickly before no not now charles is not the time as we've got a glue dilemma i'm gonna pop that down on there Put those there, put the lid on that while I'm holding that down, and there you go. Right, I know, Charles. I knew he was going to jump up, that's why I was getting ready for him. Um, right, what I'm going to do, I won't finish the other one, um, because I don't know how much time I've got left, and it's going to cut off, I think, any minute. Um, so, this is the other uh, flip one with that lovely image on it of that lovely lady and uh there you go those are the ones that we've managed to finish i've got another one there so that's going to go in my pile of things needing to be finished oh, my edith holden so we finished this one here the big one and another big one so they can go in my finished pile so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Um, they are really so much fun to be had um, making them. And uh, Charlie up to his antics as a normal. Um, but, right, I shall see you all tomorrow. Um, you take care and I'll speak to you all very, very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.